Reading Comprehension Short Stories and Passages for Kids Welcome to our reading class. Let's read short stories and passages to improve our comprehension. At the end of each story, there are questions that you need to answer. Are you ready? Sun, Stars, and Moon In the sky, you can see the sun, stars, and the moon. The sun is up during the day. It is very hot. The sun gives us light and heat. Plants need the sun to grow. We can see the stars at night. They give off light and heat like the sun. That is because the sun is a star too. Some people see shapes in the stars. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Have you ever seen the Big Dipper? That's a constellation! The moon is out at night. Sometimes we can still see it during the day. It does not give off light and heat. Let's answer the questions from the story. Choose the letter of the correct answer. What is the passage about? A. It is about the heat of the sun. B. It is about the sun, stars, and the moon. Or C. It is about the shape of the stars. B. It is about the sun, stars, and the moon. How are the sun and the stars the same? A. They give off heat and light. B. They have the same shape. Or C. They give energy to the plants. A. They give off heat and light. Why do plants need the sun? A. Plants need it to be beautiful. B. Plants need it to give off oxygen. Or C. Plants need it to grow. C. Plants need it to grow. What is a constellation? A. It is a big star. B. A group of stars that make a shape. Or C. Stars that don't have a shape. B. A group of stars that make a shape. How is the moon different from the sun and the stars? A. The moon does not give off light and heat. The sun and stars do. B. The moon can be seen at night only. Or C. The moon gives light at night.
A. The moon does not give off light and heat. The sun and stars do. Alice Alice is a wonderful and smart girl. She studies her lessons every day and performs well in class. She reads books in the school library every afternoon. Alice also helps her teacher every morning. She sings and dances beautifully too. Her teachers think she's an amazing pupil. Most of the time, Alice shares food with her friends. And she loves to tell them stories too. Alice is indeed a wonderful girl. Who is the girl in the story? A. Lisa B. Alice C. Abby B. Alice What does she do every morning in school? A. She plays with her friends. B. She helps her teacher. Or C. She cleans the room. B. She helps her teacher. Where does she read books every afternoon? A. In the classroom, B. In the library, or C. In the house. B. In the library. What do her teachers think of her? A. She's a helpful pupil. B. She's a respectful pupil. Or C. She's an amazing pupil. C. She's an amazing pupil. Why is Alice called a wonderful girl? A. Because she is smart, talented, and kind. B. Because she is playful and active. Or C. Because she always reads books. A. Because she is smart, talented, and kind. Good job, kids! You got five stars!